All right, hello everyone. We're back for another golf clash tutorial here for the pro tournament and just kind of looking over my bag here. Um, you know, extra mile seven, apocalypse four are gonna be similar. You know, some of the guys might not have uh, the epoxy at uh, level four right now. Um, I'll go ahead and hit the extra mile. It's not going to matter in terms of carry. You know, these are going to play out virtually identical. You could basically copy spins um, pretty much, you know, mile per hour per mile per hour. And let me just set up for a Titan originally for this first hole. Check the shop real quick. Let me get in a division here real quick. And again, um, you know, you, you don't really necessarily have to have everything matched up one to one with the way that I go about doing things. Um, there's other factors that you need to be considering, you know, wind resistance, stuff like that. You know, if you get a five and I have a seven, you can't play everything exactly like I do. Uh, you got to make you know slight differences in power the stuff that you always need to be thinking about however if you're able to get here you can see 6.5 and you can see kind of where I can get this needle to um, I can either go relatively full here with this and what I usually do is maybe just a little bit you see I'm gonna really take down the amount of top spin that I use here I'm going to go relatively full with this, and you can see how I'm just kind of aiming into the gap up there in the open space. So you can see where the wind's pointed up towards that gap. That's going to be pretty much what I'm focusing on, and I'm also maybe just coming in a little bit on the power, trying to hopefully, you know, work on my perfect ball. There you can see I catch a great ball off to the left. It just catches. It should run out, but I'm expecting it to... Eh, didn't even quite run out, but uh, you know that's all you'll need to do for pro. I didn't even hit max there, and uh, you know the easier that you can make that. So let's think. You know if you can, if you have power four balls that you can bring out, or even berserkers, you know, and and really greatly reduce the amount of power that you need to go about doing this. It's going to make things a lot easier for you. Here you can see my opponent looks like what is that? The Apoc four. Um, and very similarly to what I mentioned, uh, this is going to play out very similar to my shot. You can see my opponent's already using more top spin, but he got less wind than me. So he might actually need that. So here you can see he's actually coming off the power a little bit. This might actually work out. It might just not be enough. We'll just have to see. I would have maybe just going just a fraction more. It looks like it just did clear, so it should run out and go towards the hole here. But in terms of top spin, you know... You can see that my opponent barely crept over, and it's relatively good speed-wise. You're never going to need more top spin than that. So the guys who are, you know, making the mistakes on this hole, uh, they're going to be using quite a bit more top spin uh, than what you just saw me or him do. Um, and this, this is, you know, primarily to tailwind cases because sometimes you have to top spin it through the rough. This just isn't one of those cases. So in the downwind scenario, where you can carry it over the rough on the second hop, you just want to shoot for, uh, and it's going to be dependent upon how much uh, wind you have. You know, an expert division, once it gets up in, into the tens, you know, I make sure to, sometimes I even backspin it in expert division. It just really depends on the situation where I choose to make my landing zone. And these are just you know factors that you want to consider oh, I should have forfeited out there what was I thinking so um, I'm not going to qualify today and um, now I'm going to probably be in between clubs so let me just see if I can't put together something you know kind of as a supplemental guide to you guys I usually use kind of min club number extra mile what's that two per 2.5 per ring I try to go maybe two and a half rings here for my ring adjustment so let's try right around here and I'm also going to utilize quite a bit of curl 
Perfect ball. Let's just see if I can get the landing zone down. Nope, not quite. So it didn't quite carry far enough. I would have liked just a little bit more carry there. So it's kind of human. It was like, you know, personal error there. Um, the land zone on the second hop wasn't, or on that initial hop there, wasn't quite what I was looking for, which affected my second hop. And you can see it deflecting off to the side. But like I said, you know, I should have just forfeited it out here, saved this time. Um, I'm not qualifying today, so it would have been much more beneficial. But you can see, you know, how I go about doing this um, for shootout cases. And when I execute that, uh, you know, consistently, uh, it, it'll run out and it'll probably be about two yards on average so it is a very consistent uh, approach uh, otherwise it's a little hard you know that's actually pretty well played to get it that close you know four yard it's not something that you can always do with a sniper so that was uh, you know a very fortunate type of run out as well um, it can be a very risky you know three hop type shot uh, it's very hard to pull off uh, on a consistent basis you know both of those shots are no matter what you do on that hole